Hey guys, sorry about how uh, the last video ended. It just cut off, stopped recording, so I said forget it. That That's a video. Um, I'm at uh, the bakery in LaPorte, Indiana right now. Stayed awake through the night. I'm exhausted. Um, I got here and uh, I was told when I got here they'd have a, tra a load for me, whether it be an empty trailer or an actual load. And um, I got here and the guy seemed surprised that I was even here. But uh, he told me to give me a trailer, uh, yeah, a dock to back into. Uh, back the trailer in, dropped it, and they say uh, it'll be about half hour to have a load ready for me. So um, here I sit. So I uh, did everything uh, in the sleeper that I mentioned in the last video. Can't really see it now with the glare, but um, even though I feel like you should be able to, maybe I just, I'm really not seeing correctly. But you can see my uh, blanket in right there mattress topper there blanket to cover the mattress there because uh, yeah this is the truck that uh, the large stinky co-worker of mine uh, generally drives yeah he's a cool guy I'm talking to him a couple times I got a feeling he's kind of lonely um, but uh, yeah I wiped the truck down when I first got in and it, everything seemed good but the last maybe half hour of this drive Wow! Yeah, it was bad. It, it got bad the last half hour. So, I'm trying to figure out what I missed, or do Lysol wipes only like cover up a scent for a certain amount of time? I thought Lysol kills germs and stinkiness. So, don't know. But um, either way, once I get out of here, I'll be I'll drive to where I saw a uh, mom and pa style truck stop uh, a few miles back, about. By a few miles, I mean half hour, 40 minutes. That'll put me well within range to uh, get back on one shift without having to take a 30 minute break. So one shift, one drive. Um, I'll probably, I did stop for fuel on the way up here. I stopped for my 30 minute break and I had one quickie break just to use the restroom. Um, on the way up here, the fuel break was a lot longer than uh, it should have been. I, uh, working for the guy that I'm working for now, uh, he pays attention to gas prices and likes us to go to those smaller places. Generally, they're a lot cheaper than Love's, Pilot Flying J, TA Petro. Uh, so I went to one of those smaller places and they were out of fuel. And uh, so I had to go, so that killed a, a little bit of time. Uh, it seemed like it killed a lot, but it really didn't kill that, that much in the grand scheme of things. So I had to go to a, a pilot and get fuel. And, uh, whatever so but uh, the boss wants me to call the place that was out of fuel they were receiving fuel while I was there but then they had to get their pumps primed and that was going to take a couple hours uh, to call my way back because uh, the guy that normally drives this truck he doesn't have the fuel card for those small places um, he just has the card for Loves specifically and Loves gives like the third worst discount of the ones that we go to they're a last resort um, so he wants me to top it off at the cheap place before I uh, give the truck back to him. So, other than, other than that, I'll probably stop once, maybe twice. I don't want to stop, because basically once I get home, uh, it'll be Friday night, almost Saturday. It might even be Saturday morning. Um, I have all of Saturday off. I might have a late night run of some sort, Sunday to Monday, but probably not. And then, with Monday being the actual holiday, uh, there's a chance I might end up having Monday off as well. So I'm going to use that off time as uh, motivation to keep going. But uh, I may end up working either one of the late night Sunday shifts or uh, a late night Monday shift. Um, as soon as I end this clip, I'm going to text uh, it'd be my second cousin, I believe. My mom's cousin. Uh, I was texting with her earlier, and uh, she lives in Nashville. And with me having Saturday off, you know, her household, they all work and go to school Monday through Friday. Haven't been able to get uh, in touch with, or been, haven't been able to hang out with them uh, since I've been in Tennessee. So I'm hope, and uh, with me having Saturday off, she said she was free. I just had to confirm that I actually had Saturday off. Um, I confirmed that at about 2 o'clock this morning. So I wasn't going to uh, bother them then, but now that they should be getting up, get going, tell her I have Saturday off. 
So uh, that'll be what I'll, I'm doing Saturday, hopefully, hanging out with some family. That'll be cool. Uh, my neighbors are also getting together on Saturday. Uh, my neighbors have become almost like family. They've become the extent, extent of my social life um, since well, I've been in Tennessee so far. Um, but they're also probably getting together again on Monday, which is why I'm hoping that I have Monday off. Um, is so I can hang out with, with them and celebrate the holiday. So, anyway, uh, just here I sit and not doing anything, waiting for them to load up a trailer for me to uh, take back to Tennessee. So, talk to you guys whenever, or maybe I'll just use this as a one take. I have no idea. I will probably have add more to this. So, yeah, I'll talk to you guys whenever. Alright guys, I'm back from uh, Laporte. I, uh, yeah, they gave me a load, just a bunch of empty bread trays to uh, bring back here to uh, Murfreesboro. Um, got back safely. I uh, got the load, went to the Loves in uh, Plymouth, Indiana, crawled in the sleeper, and really stayed awake the whole time. I maybe, I was in the truck, I didn't get out or leave for any reason. I maybe got an hour's worth of sleep. Um, I could not sleep. It, it wasn't, I mean, I mentioned that the guy that normally drives that truck is a big, smelly guy. It had nothing to do with that. Um, I have no idea. I, uh, I just could not sleep uh, in the truck. I think a lot of it had to do with uh, daylight, with it, the light being you know, light. And with that truck being older, it's got 1.1 million miles on it, I think. 1.2 million, maybe. Um, it's not in the greatest of shape, so the window curtains um, let a lot of light in for me, by, for, by my standard. Um, I think that had a lot to do with it. Um, but I just didn't get any sleep, but uh, had some food at uh, Hardee's. They brought the uh, Memphis burger back. So uh, if you go to, uh, yeah, go to our, I recommend, recommend it. I'm normally not a Hardee's or, or a Carl's Jr. person. The Memphis burger, though. Ah, oh, heaven on earth. It's good. Uh, they had it, I want to say I was in high school still. I was either in high school or fresh out of high school. It was like 2000, sometime between 2008 to, actually, no, I take that back. I was out of high school. It would have been 2013, yeah, 13, 14-ish. Um, they, they had it. I was eating it three to five times a week during the temporary time it was out. I highly recommend it. It's a really good burger. Same way I had the burger and uh, topped off on fuel so that because we're going to be very tight on time. The uh, other guy that normally drives that truck, he's in it right now. I pulled into the bakery and uh, I was taking my stuff out see he's bringing his stuff in. And um, But anyway, I topped off on fuel because I got due time for my pre-trip anyway. So I topped off on fuel up there at that Loves, so that way when the guy, came, so when I brought got the truck back down here tonight, he can get all the way because his he's gonna be very tight on his delivery. He's not gonna have to worry about getting fuel uh, on his way up there. But uh, yeah, I drove straight from the Loves, stopped in traffic a couple times, but I didn't stop. Other than that, no quickie breaks or anything. I drove for is about seven hours and. Yeah, about seven and a half hours. Uh, no, I, I didn't have that much. Maybe seven hours and 15 minutes straight. I still got it. Um, it's rare that I would do that, but it's just I didn't have to stop. I wanted to get home. I wanted a shower. I could smell myself, and that's not good. And it was a tight delivery. Um, I had to get going. So it took basically exactly a 10-hour break and uh, turned around and came back. Um, so that's it, it's about four o'clock in the morning right now. I just showered, it was glorious. Um, got some food in the microwave right now actually. And I got a load for tomorrow. I might film it. I'm thinking I might actually go live on it. I need to find a way to prop up my phone. But basically what I'm doing is I'm taking a, my semi-trailer down to a Penske rental place in uh, Alabama. Um, and basically, I think I'm going to have three, three or four box trucks uh, at that Penske rental place that are empty. I got to back each truck up one at a time and move the 
bread from my semi trailer into the box truck. Uh, I've done it a couple of times. Um, my boss explained it to me at such a level that uh, probably a 10 year old probably could have understood, which is perfect. Because sometimes, especially when I'm talking to my brother, he has a huge vocabulary. I got to remind him, it's like, dude, talk to me like I'm five. Um, so, um, yeah, but then I talked to my boss today about this load tomorrow. He wants me to call him again. I always want to ask him to just give me a quiz. And if I fail the quiz, then re-explain. It's one of those things I'm 99.99% sure I got. So, uh, we'll see. There might be more to it. Because last time, to be fair, last time it was just one box truck. But it's pretty easy. I look at little packing slips on the big, huge stacks of bread and see which uh, truck they go on to. It shouldn't, be, it shouldn't be that hard. So, but then again, if I were to mess up, it's on my boss, not on me. But I think I can read a sheet with numbers on it and put it in the right truck. I think I can. I mean, I am a truck driver, and we don't have a reputation for being the smartest people in the world. But I think I can do that. I think I can. Um, but anyway, uh, something I got going on right now. We'll see how this all happens. I got a couch. Uh, and uh, the pillows on it. I laid down to take a nap on it just to see how it's left. And uh, I got the couch for my boss, actually. And uh, the pillows just stank. And it's not, you know, it's just because it's been used. And I have the, a very sensitive nose for a person. Um, and it's just, it was not going to work. So I'm in the process of trying to wash the pillows right now. They're actually in the dryer as we speak with a tennis ball. That's what the internet said to use. Uh, the internet said a couple tennis balls, but I only have one. So I'm curious to see how that all plays out. Um, washing pillows and getting them dry is the part that scares me. I may end up having to set them up, like lay out a couple trash bags so it's clean, leave them like in a small confined space and take my portable air conditioning unit. It's a, a dehumidifier and as well, it has a dehumidifying function and run the dehumidifying function to suck the air out of the room, whatever confined space I make and as well as the pillows. If I have a hard time drying, because the thing that sucks out my dryer is the longest I can have them dry with time is 40 minutes. It's either 10, 20, or 40 minutes. Or it's the sensing thing, which is great for clothes, towels, anything. But with the pillows, after 20 minutes, it says that uh, they're dry. When they're not, they need to be run for like, with my parents' washing machine at home, it could go up to 99 minutes. And we've washed the pillows at my parents' house before. And we had to wash them all day, just 99 minutes, 99 minutes again, another 99 minutes, and we get them dry. So I'm cu cu real curious to see how that all pans out, because the last thing I want is stinky, gross pillows. But uh, if nothing else, it's an experiment. I'll buy own, my own pillows for the couch that will match the couch, which I'm okay with that. Uh, if I were to get a lady in the picture anytime soon, I'm not suggesting anything. But uh, if she doesn't like it, then she's more than welcome to fix it. Same thing with my Fruity Tooty welcome mat that was here when I got here. My neighbor even asked if it was too Fruity Tooty. It's like, I'm just stoked to have a welcome mat. <laughs> like, but anyway, uh, sorry, I'm rambling and I'm hungry and there's food in the kitchen with my name on it. So I'm going to end this video, guys. Uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Moving the bread. Maybe I'll take a minute and just explain it and show you guys. Try to do it one-handed and with my feet. I might be able to do that but if i can find a way to prop my phone up somehow that shows the process i might go live and uh do it and then whoever's watching if uh you guys have questions or whatever i'll take a look every so often answer your questions um the time roughly all i know is going in a central time the load will not be ready before three o'clock p.m but it could be ready as late as five or six central time. And it's two hours to Penske, probably another 20 minutes for me to set up. So we could be looking as early as about 5.30 central time, but as late as 7.30 or 8 central time, uh, depending on how it all pans out. And then what my traffic situation is getting down to Alabama and uh, whatnot. So, and whatnot. Whatever, guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. 
just kidding. I realize you guys don't know. Um, when we got together for spring break, uh, we were poking fun at Trucker Josh because he says and whatnot in his videos a lot. And I just said that without even thinking about it. I uh, stole a Trucker Josh line. Super duper. No, I'm just kidding. Um, anyway, guys, yeah, for real, this is time. I will talk to you guys hopefully tomorrow, but for sure, sometime soon.